Hello and welcome back to another lecture. Whenever you log into your AWS account with the email that you use to open the account, you are logged in as the root user. I am currently logged in as the root user and you can see it here. Remember what we said, the root user has access to everything in your AWS account. So you don't want to use this root user account for your day-to-day -day activity. According to this AWS documentation, for AWS account root user, you can see that information here. Here, this information basically tells you that you should not use your root user account for everyday tasks. Even for administrative tasks, you should not use your root user account. Instead, you should follow best practice and create your first IAM user. Then you can use that IAM user for your day-to-day -day maintenance of your AWS account. So that's what we are doing in this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to create our first IAM user that we will use to maintain this account. We are also going to use this IAM user to complete all of our projects. So the first thing I want you to do is log into your AWS Management Console as the root user. Then once you log in as the root user, I want you to type IAM up here. Then select IAM. Once you are on the IAM dashboard, we are going to follow these steps to create our IAM user. First, we are going to create our IAM user. Then we will put the IAM user in a group. Then we will attach our permission policy to the group. This is what AWS recommends for best practice. So the first thing I want you to do is select users up here. Then we are going to click add users. Then give your user a name. Under select AWS access type, these are the different ways your IAM users can interact with your AWS environment. For now, we are only going to focus on the management console. So here, we are going to select password AWS management console access. Then under console password, you can either have AWS auto generate your password or you can create a custom password. For learning purpose, Let's have AWS auto generate the password for us. Then when we log in as the IAM user for the first time, we are going to reset the password. So here, select auto generate password and make sure this is checked. Then we are going to click next for permissions. And under set permissions, this is how you can attach a policy to your user to give your user access to services within your AWS account. But for AWS best practice, we are not going to attach a policy to the user. We are just going to click next for tags. And under tags, we are not going to add any tag. Click next to review. And on the review page, it is telling you that this user has no permissions. Yes, that's what we want. So we are going to click create user. Once you have created your IAM user, it is going to bring you to this page. On this page, the first thing I want you to do is click this download button. And when you click that button, it is going to download it on your computer and also open the CSV file. After clicking that download button, if your CSV file does not open, just check your downloads folder, it should be there. So open your file explorer, then come to downloads and you should see that CSV file there. You can see my, it is right here. You can double click it to open it. So this CSV file contains all the credentials that my IAM user needs to sign in. So here you can see the username. I'll expand this. This is the password. And here, this is the link that my IAM user can use to sign in. I'm going to minimize this. And on this page, let's close it by clicking close here. And we have successfully created our IAM user. You can see it here. I'm going to close this. Now that we have created our IAM user, the next thing we are going to do is create a group and put this IAM user in that group. We want to use this IAM user for administrative purpose. So let's create a group that we are going to call admin. Then we will put this IAM user in that group. So to create a group, we are going to select user groups up here. We are going to click create group. We'll give the group a name. I'll call the group admin. Then scroll down. 
then under add users to group any user you have in your aws account you'll see all of them here so currently we only have one user but if you have multiple users you'll see them here and all you have to do to add a user to this group that we are about to create is you just check the user's name so any user you want to add to the group you check their name i want to add this user that i just created as this to this group so that's why i've checked that box then we are going to scroll down and the third option is we are going to attach permissions policy to the group and here you have all these aws managed policies that we can attach to this group since we are using this user for administrative purpose we want to look for the administrative policy and assign it to the group so here i want you to type administrator access Make sure you type administrator access the same exact way you see it on my screen. So it is a capital A and capital A here and press enter. And it is going to give you all these results. The one you want to select is the administrator access here. So make sure you check this box here. And once you have checked the box, click create group. And we have created our group. You can see the group name here, admin. If I select that group, you'll see the users that are in that group. Currently, we only have one user in the group. As you create more users, if you want to add the users to this admin group, you can add those users. But to complete all of our projects, we are going to use this one user moving forward. So I have my user in this group, Aziz. And if you select the permissions tab, you are going to see the policy, which is administrator access that we assign to this group. So any user we put in the group will also inherit the same policy. So this is how we create an IAM user, put them in a group and assign permissions policies to the group. The next thing I want us to do is sign out as the root user and we are going to sign in as the IAM user we just created. So click up here where you have your account name and click sign out. Once you've signed out, Next, we are going to sign in as our IAM user. To sign in as your IAM user, the easiest way is to open that CSV file. Then make sure you copy that sign in link. I'm going to select that sign in link, copy it. Then I'm going to come back to my browser, paste it there, and press enter. And it will automatically fill in your account ID here. And all you have to do is enter your IAM username. I'm going to come here. My IAM username is Aziz. I'll copy it and paste it here. And the next thing I'm going to enter is the password. So for the password, open your CSV file, select the password, copy everything and paste it here and click sign in. And because we require that this user change their password the first time they sign in, that is why you are getting this option. So here I'm going to paste the old password and I'm going to create a new password. Once you create a new password, click confirm password change. And there you go. We have signed in as our IAM user. You can tell that you are signing as an IAM user if you look up here. You can see my username at the account ID. So anytime you see any username at the account ID, or sometimes when we change it to alias, you'll see at the account alias. That means you are signing as the IAM user. The next thing I want us to do is go to our IAM dashboard. So any services you currently visited, you will see them up here. Since I last visited IEM, you can see it here, but I also want us to get in the practice of looking for the services up here. So here I'm going to type IEM and select IEM. And it is going to bring you to the IEM dashboard. On this IEM dashboard, you will see the summary of all your IEM resources. You can see that I have one group, one user and two roles. And another information I can see here now is for the IAM user that I just created, AWS wants me to add multi-factor authentication for that user. That is why you are seeing this warning sign here. 
In the next lecture, we are going to add multi-factor authentication for the IAM user we just created. That will be it for this lecture. So in this lecture, please remember what we did. We created an IAM user. We created a group and we put that IAM user in the group. Then we assign our permissions policy to the group. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.